Dozens of fires likely caused by illegal fireworks in the East Bay Plus. Police arrest a man wanted for a stabbing at Levi Stadium. That and more coming up. Hi everyone, Diana San Juan here filling in for Abby Fernandez. Let's start in the East Bay where firefighters had a busy 4th of July. The Contra Costa County Fire District responded to more than 60 fires between 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. They say some were likely caused by fireworks. Now they say a lot of these happen outdoors like this grass fire in Walnut Creek. This is near White Cliff Way. No evacuations were ordered, but some people decided to evacuate anyway as a precaution. Police have arrested a 29-year-old Sacramento man on suspicion of stabbing a fan during the Mexico versus Qatar soccer game at Levi Stadium on Sunday. Take a look at this video here, hard to watch. Police say a fight broke out in the stands and when officers got there, they found Emmanuel Diaz Leal was stabbed at least once near his collarbone. He was taken to the hospital where he's still recovering. The suspect, identified as Alejandro Garcia Villanueva, fled the scene but was arrested on Tuesday. Diaz Leal said his attacker missed his heart and neck just by a few inches and he's grateful to be alive. He said he wants there to be justice because Garcia Villanueva tried to kill him. He said it's by luck or God that he didn't die. He's expected to make a full recovery. All right, listen to this. We're one step closer to seeing and having flying cars. The San Mateo company LF Aeronautics just got the approval from the FAA to begin testing flying cars in the air and on the ground. We're talking about its Model A prototype, the first car certified to fly. Now the company still needs further approval until we actually begin to see these cars in action, but if given the green light, Aleph expects to sell each car for $300,000 and it expects to get them out by the end of 2025. And get this, it's already available for pre-order. The company's CEO says this will be a more, quote, environmentally friendly and faster commute. He added that it's one small step for planes and one giant step for cars. All right, for more of these and other stories, go to NBCBayArea.com. That's all for me today, guys. Thanks for watching.